after decades, and I mean decades, of making us laugh, David Letterman is wrapping up his opening monologues and top ten lists. His career spans thousands of shows and, well, millions mm -hmm. of laughs. But not before the entertainment community bids Letterman farewell. KMTV reporter Deborah Tuff has a look back at the careers he impacted right here in Omaha. David Letterman, the man whose name became synonymous with late night comedy, leaves a legacy that won't be forgotten. From New York. The music, the band that plays it, the announcer's booming voice. man who brings everything together. Top 10 signs your Apple Watch is a fake, number 10. His quirky approach. Thanks. Thanks for the his attentive audiences. <laughs> and his scene-stealing guests. And uh, Joaquin, I'm sorry you couldn't be here tonight. Since then, Letterman's approach has been far-reaching. Spent the first part of my radio career pretty much ripping off Letterman bits. Yeah. So he was an influence on me. Yeah, Todd's a hack. Big not Todd. vice versa. Yeah, I still am. He's a complete hack. <laughs> Mike Tyler and Todd Brandt of the Todd and Tyler Radio Empire say Letterman's influence impacted their early careers. In fact, my, one of my first jobs in radio, uh, the program director said something like, uh, we want you to be more Letterman-esque. Watching, watching uh, David made me realize, man, I could, I could release the anger through my comedy. Ralph Harris drops in sometimes to make folks laugh at the funny bone. He's been on Jay Leno twice, but never the late show. David Letterman was a risk taker. Hi, kids. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Former intern and Omaha native Stephanie Purcell took a risk when she moved to New York, unpaid, as a Letterman intern. She never met Letterman, only got to talk to him in the skit. Massachusetts? Nebraska. Nebraska. Well, here we go. Uh, but I met him over the camera once. They were doing a gimmick where they had three of us interns come out and parallel park. Here's Johnny Beaner. For comedian Johnny Beaner, Letterman means a lot to him. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, David Letterman thinks I'm good enough. And like Beaner, Letterman's lived out his dream of 33 years on television. And it was a pleasure to get to be a part of his world. You gave, you gave a lot, and you helped a lot of guys. You helped a lot of comedians. And uh, for that, you know, I'm, I thank you. We thank you. Uh, thank you for, you know, giving me my break, and thank you for all the years of entertainment. There's a lot of copiers, a lot of pretenders. Uh, of, some people had better ratings once in a while, but it didn't matter. He was the best. Get in on the conversation with the hashtag Thanks, Dave. You've just watched Letterman's Legacy, and I'm Deborah Tuff.